thief in our midst. This little bugger just fell off the sofa. Keeps trying to steal my breakfast. He's already wandered off with it once. Wait, look. Nope. Hi, Amy. Hello. Hi, Mama. What have you got there? I got Playmobil. No. I'm to get this one. What's in the box? Um, a SpongeBob pool. Your new pool. And what are we waiting for? Nanny and Granddad. To come and put it up. Mm hmm. Outside. Outside. So, yeah, she's got a new pool. And my mum and dad were supposed to be here like an hour ago. <laughs> but never mind. It might rain, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna, my dad's gotta blow it up with a compressor, that's why I haven't already done it for her. And then we're gonna fill it up, but it's got like a slide and a fountain, and it looks really cool. So, it's really, really hot still. It has gone quite dull, but it's still really warm, so, yeah. Very, very warm. I've done my nails today as well. See, because my nails were disgusting. So I went and got some new gel and some new tips and Bob's your uncle. All done. So yeah, although I've got all bits under them. So I'm going to be sitting doing this all night. Getting all the excess glue and gel off. Evening. It's half eight and it's still really, really hot. <laughs> I don't like it, but I've got my fan on. I've got Albert attacking my dress because I'm wearing my next dress today. Um, what did I do today? We got the pool up. Hello. We got the pool up. Um, but I've covered it all up now, so I'll show you guys it tomorrow. Amy loves it. Um, and like I said, I went and got some nail bits and I bought a nail set, like a polish set, because I wanted... I was going to get a new OPI polish and I saw this and I didn't buy it because of what it is. I bought it because of the colours. And it's the 50 Shades of Grey mini set. And it's got six colours in it. Which I'm going to try and take out of the box. Because there's a reflection and then I can show you what the colours are. I love dark colours so this set is very me. So we've got... Do you mind? Get off my dress. So we've got this one. I can't get it out of the box. <laughs> which is called My Silk Tie. And it's just like this metallic silver. Which is very pretty. Then we've got Dark Side of the Mood. Which is a really, really dark grey. And I'm actually wearing that on this finger with something over it. Then we've got Romantically Involved, which is like a blood red. Is it a blood red? It's kind of a blood red, yeah. Which I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I liked all the other colours. Then I've got Embrace the Grey, which is this like medium grey. It's very similar to what's in my haul, actually. Then I've got this one, which is called Shine For Me, which is a gorgeous glitter, and that's what I'm wearing over the top of the other one. And it's got like blue in it as well, which is nice. And then the last one, this one is very, very similar to Embrace the Grey. This one is called Cement the Deal. And it's more of, it's just a slightly lighter grey. But I love greys and blacks. So this set is very, very me. Very me. And with tax, because the place that I go, it's like um, a beauty warehouse. You can only go if you're in the business. And um, they price everything up without tax. So it would have been about a tenner. So it was still cheaper than buying one bottle of OPI. And I got six. So I was quite happy with that. Um, I wanted to just have a little chat with you guys. Um... And I wanted to kind of talk about a comment that I got on yesterday's video. I've only had two comments, so it won't be hard to kind of tell which one it is. I'm not having a go at anyone. I'm not, like, judging anybody's opinions. I've said all along, I'm happy for you guys to be honest with me. If you don't like something, tell me. If you like something, tell me. 
unless it's like a really malicious comment or something really dirty like I've had dirty sexual comments before they will get deleted but anything else I leave up because it really doesn't bother me but I just kind of wanted to talk about a comment that I got that was basically saying um, why am I stopping the healthy eating why am I going back onto Cambridge um, healthy eating and clean eating is so much better than um, these crash weight loss diets that um, you could end up putting the weight back on blah 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 and I do agree with that but Cambridge works for me and like I've said in previous videos the only reason I came off of Cambridge is because my consultant told me to because I created I don't know what happened but somehow my brain created an intolerance to not just the Cambridge products but to food in general I didn't want to eat anything I didn't even want to drink anything so my consultant told me to come off of Cambridge because she didn't want me to develop a hatred for the products um, and just eat what I wanted or healthy eat or whatever I chose to do for a little while until I got back into a good system which is what I've done and I would have gone back onto Cambridge sooner but I've been waiting to get paid and I get paid tomorrow that's why I'm starting up again on Monday morning but I would have, I would have still been on Cambridge now if it hadn't have been for my brain just having a like a, a brain fart moment but um, I appreciate you guys leaving me comments and saying what you think would be best for me but at the end of the day I know what's best for me and I want to go back on Cambridge the maximum amount of time that I will be on it is 10 weeks because like I've said I'm either going to stop when I get to a size 14 which is my goal I don't have a goal weight um, but I also 14 is kind of my goal size I don't want to be tiny I don't want to be like an 8 or a 10 because it's not me I want to still feel womanly I want to have curves and I'm not saying that really skinny girls are not womanly that's just me that's my personal preference I want to be a 14 um, so I'm either going to stop when I get to a 14 or I'm going to stop for my birthday which is in 10 weeks time so whichever one comes first the maximum I'm going to be on this is 10 weeks. And for all these people who say, oh, it's a fad diet, this isn't what the comments said, but this is just people like who I work with and stuff. It's a fad diet, um, it won't work, you'll put it all back on. Some people do, yeah, I agree. But there are different steps in Cambridge, just like there are in other diets. Basically, I'm going to come off of Cambridge when I'm up the weight, that when I'm at the size that I want to be at. And then I shall just healthy eat and I shall maintain. Because I will be... The trouble with me at the moment is I'm not at my goal size. So I slip up when I'm unhealthy eating. I slip up and I think, oh, it's only one. It's only one takeaway. I'll work it off. Which nine times out of ten I do. But I know when I get to the size that I want to be and I like how I look in clothes, I'll be like, I don't want that. I don't want that takeaway. I like looking like this. Once I get there... I know that in here I'll be like yeah I'm not interested whereas at the moment I'm like well I'm still going to work it off so I'll just have it you know but everybody is different some people don't get on with fad diets some people do do I think Cambridge is a fad diet yes I do does it work for me yes it does so I'm going to carry on doing it I know other people it works for I've got a friend who to me I would have liked her figure at her start weight but she hated it and she's worked really hard and she's got the weight off but she's mainly done it through Cambridge and now she's maintaining she's healthy eating does she have the odd day where she has something naughty yes she does there's nothing wrong with that but um I do appreciate people leaving me comments and saying things that they believe but if people say you shouldn't do this you should do that I'm not going to listen because at the end of the day it's my life I'm going to do what I want. If it's the wrong decision, fair enough, but it's my decision to make, you know. If everybody doesn't agree with what I do, that's fine. I mean, I have people in my personal life who don't necessarily agree with Cambridge. I have some people who think it's amazing, but at the end of the day, I do it for me. It's like my tattoos. Some people hate them. Would that stop me getting them? No. I get them for me, same as I want to do Cambridge for me, not for anybody else. Not even for Immy. I do want to be fit and healthy for Immy, but I have to do it for myself before anybody else, otherwise it's not going to work. So, 
I'm more than happy for people to still leave me comments and say what they think I should do in that, but just be aware I'm not going to listen because I'm a stubborn bitch and I will do what I want anyway. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, as long as I'm happy, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not putting drugs into my system. I'm not. I'm not taking slimming tablets. I'm eating meal. I'm eating meal replacement products, and I'm still having a meal in the evening. So it, I'm not doing anybody any harm, you know. And I'm not harming myself. I'm just. It's for ten weeks, less than three months. So it's not the end of the world. Less than a quarter of a year, I'm going to be doing it for. That's it. So, but if you don't want to come on my journey with me, guys, you don't have to. I'm not asking anybody to. But if you choose to, then awesome, and and we'll have a lot of fun along the way, you know. But I just wanted to kind of address it, and I always address comments. If I get comments that I don't, it's not that I don't agree with, because everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But if I get comments that kind of make me think, oh, hang on, I want to address that, then I will. This isn't the first time that I've addressed comments, so. Like I said, it's not a dig at who left me the comment. It is, I don't want anybody, I don't think you will because you guys are all lovely and you're not like that. But I don't want anybody to kind of jump on her and say, oh, you shouldn't say that, let her do what she wants. She's not done anything wrong. All, all she's done is left her opinion. And that is absolutely fine. I just wanted to address it. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Because some of the bigger YouTubers that I watch they'll perhaps say something about a comment that's been left and then everybody will jump on that person and the person hasn't done anything wrong, they've just left their opinion but because other people don't like it, they've all jumped and slagged them off well I don't want that to happen and I won't have it on my channel if I see anybody ever being disrespectful towards me or towards other people then they'll be banned and I've done it before, I've banned people before but yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm ranting now and it's not meant to be a rant at all. People are entitled to their opinions and can comment whatever they like. I just wanted to address it because I didn't want people to read it and think, oh, hang on. I wanted to address it myself before anybody else felt the need to. So that was it anyway. I've kind of ranted quite a bit now. Oh my God, I just have to show you this. Just changing the subject. Look, I'm watching Jeremy Carl. Look how I've paused him. Look at his kissy face. <laughs> That's amazing. Kissy face. Kiss the face. He's Jeremy, ready? Really. I can hear little feet moving upstairs. That's Immy. Right, I am going to put some top coat on this and sit and watch a bit more Jezza and get this edited and chill out so i hope you've all had a great day guys hope it's not been too hot for you where you are i know some of my friends across the country have had rain today they had thunder last night um one of my very new friends actually was taking photos last night of the thunder and apparent and the lightning and apparently he's filmed some as well so i'm really eager to see his videos because i love watching that sort of thing and i hate it because whenever there's thunder and lightning i try and photo it or video it and I always miss it and as soon as I turn the camera off that's when it happens I'm like no but he's got some gorgeous shots so I was very jealous but also very pleased because it meant I got to see them so that was cool hello hello Albert's still here Albert wants cuddles it would seem he looks tiny compared to me I look like I'm going to eat him have a kiss. Hello. Albert. <laughs> How cute. They're 12 weeks now. You're 12 weeks old. Yes, you are. You're 12 weeks old. How freaking cute is he? I know a couple of people who have recently got kittens. My friend Imogen's just got one. Like a black one. And she's so cute. I think it's a she. Looks like a little girl cat. But it's so cute and it's black. It's like a witch cat. And then... Ah! <laughs> Another one of my friends. 
think her name's Olivia. Ow! And she's got a little white one, and I've got you. I've got you who's trying to eat my dress. I'm gonna go because I'm getting munched. But yeah, I hope you've had a great day, guys, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!